Hello friends, we get to read again, Savoring God's Word, John 12, New King James Version, and I'll start with verse 35 and go to verse 41. Then Jesus said to them, A little while longer the light is with you. Walk while you have light, lest darkness overtake you. He who walks in darkness does not know where he is going. While you have the light, believe in the light, that you may become sons of light. These things Jesus spoke and departed and was hidden from them. But although he had done so many signs before them, they did not believe him that the word of Isaiah the prophet might be filled, which spoke. Lord, who has believed our report, and to whom are the arms of the Lord have they been revealed? Therefore they could not believe, because I say, as said again, he has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts, lest they should see with their eyes, lest they should understand with their hearts, and turn, so that I should heal them. These things Isaiah said when he saw his glory and spoke of him. I want you to observe with me from this passage a pleading tone from Jesus. It's just some of his last words and he's pleading and he uses the word believe at least seven times. Will you believe me? I'm truth. Will you believe me? Uh, he who believes in me sees the light and he finishes well. And in contrast to that, fears and hidden things are there spoken of very much. So will we be blind? Will we not see it? Will we not get it? Or will we believe? That is the work he asks us to do. So in the shadows of all the fears that they had then and the confusion they had about who he was and how to trust him, will we believe? Will we take that word and the good news that believing is how he wants to save us to heart? Ask this question of yourself. Will I let shadows overtake or will I let the light of the world shine in? The light of the world, the light of God's word. Number two, will I choose to fix my eyes on Jesus, the author and the finisher of my faith? It will take that fixation to see us through. When we look at ourselves, when we look at the confusion, we get overwhelmed. But we can choose today to fix our eyes on believing Jesus. Lord, let it be. We choose you. We choose your gracious, wonderful, all-sufficient plan, your death for us, and your life and light forever. Thank you for that gift. In Jesus' name, amen.